What's up boys, so we're at the show, I'm wearing my new wireless mic and hopefully this works alright even though we have a bunch of freaking wind here. I got my mate Bacon as the cameraman and we're going to walk through all the aisles here at Yap Days and uh, see if we find anything cool. And since I've been here since yesterday, I've uh, already seen most of the cars here today I think. But we will stop like this when we find anything cool like this R34 GTR looks very clean. There's a lot of cars here so we're going to have to go pretty quick and I'm not going to mention everything. So if your car is here and I don't stop by it, don't feel offended because there's just a lot of shit here. Really nice Supra, uh, though I'm not that much into Supras. Holy shit, look at this poke. <laughs> I think these are the Honda Shuttles, I'd love this for a daily. Dude, I've seen so many RX-7s this weekend. I've se I used to see, I'm used to seeing like one of them because there's a guy who has one. Uh, in a town like 200 kilometers north of me but I've seen like over 10 of them here and I thought we had like no RX-7s at all in Sweden really cool to be honest with you there's a lot of shit like this too with like I don't know what even this car is <laughs> but looks really nice oh my god boys I think we found the nicest car in the show <laughs> with my fucking uh, hearing protection as well. So these guys were just looking for a pen since every car has like a, a sheet of paper in the front windshield showing what they've done to the car, what car it is like, gear, mods and etc. Nice GC8, you don't see this too often as well. Like I feel, I feel like I've seen so little Japanese cars that I don't really even have that much knowledge. I do believe this is the REM Mia kit though, but without the lights. But I will google this before I put this in the video to check if I'm correct. But really nice, or really nice RX-7. I really like the front end and the lip on these ones. It's nice. We have some Civic action going on. A lot of Hondas here. Oh, yes, so has a turbo. Shit. This is not very common at all in Sweden to see turbo Hondas going around. I'm actually kind of impressed. Really nice. We need more shit like this. <laughs> so I'm not really into this VIP style course. This one looks really nice though. I think we have like 400 rows to go. Maybe we have to take the whole rows at a time. So we'll just do the whole rows at once and then if I see something nice, we just point the camera towards it. Always appreciate an Evo. There's a lot of 34s here. You usually don't see these for sale though, so I didn't think that there would be so many in Sweden. Look at this boys, this car was at uh, Elmia when I was there and this is like my favorite paint ever. I don't know, I don't think the camera picks this up too well, at least it didn't do that at Elmia. But the depth of this color is just so nice and also I don't know what you'd call this uh, in English, but a spets talk. <laughs> just so cool. 
and the paint on this thing is fucking immaculate. The bay as well. Just so good execution on this car and I really fucking love the paint on this one. This is a nice car. So if you haven't noticed yet, I'm kind of uncomfortable doing this, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do it for you guys. And just like, look here how many nice cars we have. <laughs> like this purple paint as well. Super sick. But I don't have the time or the memory card to even show you all of the cars, I think. But we'll try and do a brief walk around. Always nice to see some Jarrises. These have become more common to see. Seems like lovely cars. Here we have an Evo 3 that I saw at the campsite. Always nice seeing these early Evos out here. So good cars. Oh, real nice. He's actually changed out uh, the intercooler as well. I was thinking about doing this to mine because stock uh, is like a regular intercooler with the other... Uh, well, basically the charge pipe uh, goes from here and around the intercooler and back, but it's changed to an intercooler with both... I don't know, even know the word, but both these things on the same side. Looks really nice. And uh, you probably save like a meter of pipe and probably also gain less boost lag. Very nice. <laughs> some Subarus and shit. Some Evo 10s. I mean, they are nice. I'll say though myself, I'm not really that into Evo 10s. So I don't know shit about them and I don't think that I'll ever do. Oh, and this. Cream of the crop. Seems like it is a real one as well. I didn't know I would see two Tommy Mackinnon cars at the show. Like look at these seats, Bacon. Come here. And these are <laughs> very, very freaking rare. Very, very expensive now insane to see two of these in one weekend. I'm happy I went here. <laughs> and like that's the problem with being at meets like this. I can walk past the TME and only have half a minute to stop by it. There's just too many cool cars. Cool to see a lot of these Japanese classics around and just look how low it is to the ground in the engine bay. Look at the front subframe here. Not so much further, so I can't think of it. One of these things. I'm not really into this. Bacon is more into these than I am, I think. But I know people love these old Datsuns, and uh, we have one here. Very nice. <laughs> a lot, a lot of Miatas here. Like even where I'm from, we don't even get a lot of Miatas. Oh, a nice Evo 4 here. I haven't seen one of these in ages. Cool livery as well. Looks really nice. Oh, it's for sale as well. Maybe I'll have to pick up the old wallet, boys. Check out this Supra. Dude, people put so much time and effort into these things getting them this clean like that must take a ton of polishing work I don't even want to think about it here's two RX-7s as well dude there's so many of them I can't believe like you never ever see this for sale or you do like here's two more 
I don't even know how many I've seen this weekend, but a lot of them, and you never see these things for sale. I guess that the RX-7 is just such a good car that people don't want to sell it. That's my best guess. Pretty cool paint job on this Supra, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all sparkly. Looking kind of kind of smoky actually. Ja, vi får ut eh, två papprar till, en Lexus i 400 och en eh, Dude, what the hell is this oh. thing? Tror jag det? Men jag pratade med igår lite grann, halvt i blå, Toyota. Forerunner. I don't know all of the cars that are here, and I won't pretend like I do. So sometimes I have to check. Here's one of these with athlete in the grill as well. Like I don't know what this is, but it looks kind of nice. Also, S2K here. I actually really like the color of this thing. It's nice. Dude, look at this guy's number plate. Boy. So here's Jenny's car. Uh, she's actually from Umeå as well. Or I think she lives a bit outside of Umeå. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty girly car. But I do, I do actually love this color. Uh, I know she wanted it painted pink. And I thought she was going for more of a hot pink or something like that. But the pastel style of this color or whatever you'd say is actually really nice looks cool oh here's my friend Mering Delicat Mering why aren't you guys here? sick Supra <laughs> dude there's just too many cars to go through here. Are these S12s? I believe so. I mean, I've seen one of these before. Yeah, 180ZX. But this, you really never see them. There's just a lot of cars here that you never really see out in the road. But I'm, I'm never in the south as well. So I wonder for, for you guys living in the south, are you just cruising your JDM machines every day? Do you see them actually running out on the road or what? Because from where I'm from, I never see them, but I guess we aren't that many. So I don't know. Here's another S2000 as well. Uh, we've already checked this one out in the, at the campsite though, it looks pretty nice. I'd love to know what kind of front lip he's running. Also the microphone quality should be better if I switch to my other mic, but that other mic doesn't have this wind puff on it. And since it's so freaking windy outside, I decided to just use the built-in mic or whatever. So sound quality may not be the best, but hopefully it works at least. Like here's another RX-7. This one though, super clean. Has some nice brakes as well and shit. I kind of have to buy one of these someday. But at least there seem to be more around of them than what I initially thought. So maybe I can get one if we're lucky. They're too expensive now anyway, but every car is so. So now we're getting more into uh, the actual booths. Here's uh, Maguire's cars and I think Subaru is over here. This thing looks like it would fuck us a daily. That might sound weird with the ride height or etc, but like four door or 34. We have 
some Blitz O3s here. I've seen this S15 at Elmi as well. It has a freaking ton of cool parts on it. I love the wheels, I love the color, I love everything freaking about it. Look, even as the 326 power like pillows over here, some cool fabric. I mean, this car really has it all for an S15. This thing is super cool, and also uh, here's Tearshine's booth, Celica GT4. Oh, with these mirrors as well. Dude, this thing is sick. This freaking sick Subaru. I mean, come take a look in the interior. But you guys know my favorite car is of course going to be the Tommy Mackinac edition. This is just the fucking cream of the crop. Uh, I don't know much of this one though. I know he has like a dog box and I think it's around 460 wheel or something. And I've seen some videos of it driving and it freaking rips. So I don't think that we'll walk through uh, the pits. Maybe we'll, I don't know. Uh, but there's a lot of cool cars there as, as well. Uh, I just think that I'll walk through the show port. Depends on how long it takes, I guess. I mean, look, there's another Oryx 7. There's just so many of them. A fucking buttload of MR2s. Oh, this is sick as well. AW11. I've never seen one of these. Very cool. So this has the, I believe this has the 4 AGE, same engine as the AE86, but in the rear. Really nice, like, I've never ever seen one of those in real life. A bunch of skylines. Ball wheels. This is really cool to see here. I've never seen one of these old skylines ever. Dude, this would be so cool to cruise around in. I'd love to have one of these slammed with some of these like kind of kind of ugly over fenders that the Japanese guys use and like an RB with ITBs or something along that line like an Autec RB or something that would be so cool but a bunch of skylines and also of course my favorite one of my favorite cars here I think the TME will of course be my favorite but we have the a86 with the Takumi liver on it. They're just too much money for what they are because even though they're cool, you have to remember it's still an old Toyota with 120 horsepower. I actually learned that uh, purple car over there, he has a T5 engine from a Volvo V70, or maybe from the 850, I don't know. But a lot of cool, cooler, older cars here, which is so cool to see. We don't have almost any of those where I'm from. Uh, we also have the Miata Club Sweden here. Just a bunch of Miatas, and since I'm an S2K guy now, I can't comment this. Honda Club Sweden. Nice looking S2000 and another S2000 here. I've actually seen a bunch of S2000s. Oh, like look, these fenders look so sick. But I don't know if it's actually a good idea running these on the streets because I just imagine you get heck of fucking rock chips all over the car when you're on this. Now I don't know how it works. I really think they look cool. 
uh, but I don't think that it's something that I could do on mine. But if, you, if one of you guys have ever run these type of fenders, do they actually ship the paint? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to ask the owner later when we come back here. Oh my god, so many Hondas. A nice MSX. I feel that I've been talking for so long. I haven't got any words left to express myself. Uh, but hopefully you guys can see this and just like how many good cars there are actually here. Super clean stuff. Now I'm not that into it myself, but did this Datsun, I bet some of you guys will cream over that. Bunch of Subis. <laughs> uh, 400R clone or whatever you'd call it. So I know I filmed this yesterday. Uh, this isn't a real 400R, but I do believe that every 400R piece on it is OEM and it's just like a kitted 400R or whatever you'd call that. Nice KE70. Oh, with the SR in it. This thing probably freaking rips. But yeah, that's basically the whole show. Uh, I think there's much left to show when we also have the pits and whatever. But I do have like one other video to record today, so I have to save on memory. Uh, I brought the wrong cable, so I can't transfer them from the camera to my external hard drive. So I just have my 250 gigs to go off of. But now you guys have seen most of the show at least. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. This was the only reason I bought this mic. And I'll try and go enjoy the event myself. So if you like this and want me to mo do more of these kind of walk-arounds, walkthroughs, leave a thumbs up on the video. If you want to check out the Instagram or Patreon, links are down below as usual. And I'll see you boys in the next. Have a great day. Yeah, I ain't here for the money.